Right, so in this lesson we're going to be learning about GST and GST stands, stands for Goods and Services Tax. Alright, so our learning intention is to understand what the term GST means and solve problems involving the type of tax. So you need to firstly understand what GST means and then you need to be able to find the value of a good or a service before and after GST is added. And then you need to also be able to find the value of that GST. Now this might not make a lot of sense right now, but it will as we go along. So GST is, stands for Goods and Services Tax. So what it is, it's a 10% tax that's on all services and goods and it goes to the government, okay? So if you buy something for $100, 10% of that $100 goes to the government. All right, so this first example is asking to find the GST payable on something that costs $340. So let's just say it was like a stereo or something like that that cost $340. So what we need to do is we need to find 10% of $340. Now, as I said, GST is always going to be 10%, okay? Because that's what it is in Australia. So 0.10 times 340. You can do that on your calculator if you like, but I know that that's $34, okay? So if I bought this stereo for $30, $340, is what's going to the government and the rest of it would go to the shop or the supplier or whatever. All right, so for this question, a packet of chips, it costs $2.35 before GST. Find the GST charged. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the GST. So to do that, it's 10% of $2.35, which is 0 0.10 times 235. Now I know that that's gonna be 0 0.235, and if we're talking money, I'm gonna round that to 24, okay? Um, 23 becomes 24, or you can call this um, 24 cents is another way you can say that, okay? You can write it like that, or you can say 24 cents. Now, the price that the customer pays, because you actually pay this and the GST, so this is how much it costs, plus the 24 cents. So this and this together is going to be $2.00. $2.59, okay? So that's the uh, total price that you would pay as a customer. So this is the GST, this is the price that you would actually pay as a customer. Okay, so in this example here, we're asked to find the pre-GST price. So that means that GST has already been added to it. So in our last examples, there wasn't GST, we added it and then found the new price. This time we're working back the other way. So what we're saying here is that 110% of something is $550, okay? Because it's 100% plus the 10% extra from the GST. So we don't know what that something is. I'm gonna change this to 1.10, like I'm changing it to a decimal. I'm going to call this um, P for price, <laughs> and then I'm going to keep this as 550. Okay, so now all we need to do is actually like rearrange this a little bit. So it's going to be P 550 divided by 1.10, okay? Because what I'm doing is I'm rearranging this formula to get this over here so I get the price by itself, okay? Then I'm just going to do that on my calculator. I'm going to go 550 divided by 1.1 and I get $500, okay? So let's just say that this was uh, like a surfboard or something like that. So the person has gone into the store and they've seen the price $550, but the surfboard's worth $500 and the extra $50 has gone towards tax. So the person has to pay $550. This is the last one we're gonna do. Um, an electrician's hourly rate um, is includes GST. So if she works for six hours and the bill is $492, including GST, what was her hourly rate before GST? OK, 
Okay, so this is a, just a trickier version of um, this is just a trickier version of this question here. So the first thing we need to do is actually work out what her hourly rate was. Okay, so she charged four hundred ninety-two dollars for six hours. So to work out what she got um, for each hour, you have to divide that. So four hundred ninety-two divided by six will give us eighty-two dollars per hour. Okay, is how much she was making. Okay, every hour she worked, the charge was $82. She didn't necessarily make that. Now that was including GST. So she doesn't get all of that $82. 10% of that has to go to the government. What we need to do is 110% of something will give us $82. Okay, just like this one. We don't know what the original starting price was. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 1.1 times, I'm gonna call it price, is 82. So then I'm gonna rearrange it. I realized I was writing and then I realized that you couldn't see. So I'm going to put it um, up here. Um, it's gonna go up here. So we've got, I'm just gonna rewrite that, times P equals 82. Then yes, I need to rearrange it. I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna do the inverse, okay? So it's gonna become P82 divided by 1.1. And 82 divided by 1.1 is going to be $74.55, okay? So this electrician, every hour, she's actually taking home $74.55 and the rest of that money is going towards tax, okay? So if we think back to our learning intention and success criteria, it was to be able to add tax onto items and to figure out what something cost before the tax was added. So if you can do both of those things, then you've met today's success criteria.